Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Amen with your favorite boys in the building. My name is Raj Mahal. Wow, this is so Chinese, dude. Yeah. You said Sinru Kwaila. Yeah. That's Correctly. happy birthday, man. <laughs> yeah, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, happy birthday to the new year, correct? Lah? No. Happy what do I know, right? It's not like I'm the Chinese guy here sitting dressed up in a proper Chinese traditional outfit for a Chinese New Year I've, episode. It's I not that, right? I legit feel so bad. Like, you have the entire traditional yeah, costume yeah. down and look at the both of us, I'm man. I'm like, we <laughs> <red. laughs> I mean, what can I say? You should feel bad about yourself. Lah. Welcome back to a brand new Amen episode. It's your boys, Ming. Raj Bahal and I am Joseph. And just in that intro, you could tell that someone is slightly more excited about Chinese New Year than the rest of us. Man, I have no idea who that person is. But you know, whoever that person is, I'm gonna give them a high five. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a good one. Yeah, right? <laughs> this Chinese New Year, we want to help you with your problems. So, what we're gonna do first in today's episode is to answer some of your questions mm. when it comes to navigating Chinese New Year. So the first issue is obviously dealing with aunties and uncles, your oh relatives that you don't see from there. So first question, obviously, when are you going to get a boyfriend slash girlfriend from there? Uh, if you're single, what, what is the appropriate answer? If it's me, I'll be, ha 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 next year, next year. Yes. Every yes. time, push it next year. Ha <laughs> ha getting married next but year. But if, if that's the opposite end of the spectrum, the middle ground will be, it's hard to say anything to the aunties and uncles who are married. Yeah. But target the ones who are single, then they ask you why you're single, then you ask them back. You? When? But what if they just gone through a divorce? Wow. Oh, that's, <laughs> it, it's, it's getting quite intense. <laughs> intense. Pick up orange. Say, <laughs> come <laughs> You really can't do anything, right? You it's have true. to just say Fair next time or soon. Yeah. Or actually, for me, maybe I just be like, huh? They used to go family to visit. Her. What if mm. her or his partner passed away? Wow, Joseph. It gets yeah. even darker from yeah. there. So the second question that we got from a lot of our, our viewers back home is criticism on appearance. I feel when, when uncles and aunties walk in the room or you walk in the room, because you know they, they're usually there first. Yeah. For some reason, right, they're always there first on. Then they just wait for you to walk in. Then yeah. you walk in, then they look at you. Hey, wow, why so tan? Hey, how come darker? Hey, how come you put on weight? Hey, you look so tired. Hey, you look so old. Have you seen yourself? Ah? Wow, I'm glad this. Sorry. Just like, yeah. stop, ah, baby. People live your life, you know. Next question we've got is from Active Leisure. How many rounds should I eat at my boyfriend's house? It's very open to. Um, it's a very oh. weird question. <laughs> yeah. to ask. It's um, uh, very open to interpretation. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> when <laughs> when are you eating? What are you eating? Yeah. How are you eating? <laughs> who, who are you eating <laughs> with? <laughs> which, which are you eating? <laughs> uh, but I uh, would honestly say I think it depends on on, on how comfortable and close you are with yes. your family, mm. right? If, if, if it's the first time you're meeting them, to be honest with Chinese aunties and uncles, right? You want to be as courteous as you can. So take as much, you know, as you can finish. They want to make sure, they want they like to see that you eat the food, mm. but mm. don't freaking like hobo that up lah, you know? Like don't eat as if it's like the Hunger Games. You know? Yeah. But aunties it's and like, uncles love it, don't you think so? Like whenever you they see, eat a lot, they're like, oh, my son eats a lot. And it's true, which is why I think, Tiff, you should capitalize on knowing that. Mm. So, Big you words. have to keep on eating until your boyfriend's mom or dad says, you know, it's stop. Uh, stop right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, don't think, I don't think that's ever a point because I mean, Chinese culture is all about eating. It's all about having more on your plate, right? Wow. Mm. If you get to a point where Uncle Auntie is like, hey girl, slow down. Uh. Hey <laughs> girl, stop. Uh. <laughs> hey, hey, stop. Uh. <laughs> I feel like maybe the boat has sailed. Right? <laughs> the important thing is to clean your utensils after you're done eating from Ooh. there. That's where uncles and aunties always judge you guys. Right? Joseph knows what's up. This yeah, is true. Man. And then you give you give you give them a good impression, yes. right? All right. Next question. We have Denise Chu. So uh, issues again. Uh, the awkwardness around relatives. Hmm. What do you have for this? What what kind of awkwardness is uh, Denise talking about? Okay. You know, so okay. Sorry. You, you have a big family. I have a big family. Are you close to the... all your cousins exactly. and relatives? Exactly. No. We see each other once a year. That's the thing. From it gets super awkward sometimes. Like, hey, you still alive, ah? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> that's the number one. You guys don't get it. You don't get it. No, every time my dad goes to like my grand uncle's place, 
still alive, ah. Wow, for real. Wow. Yeah, man. It's hardcore. That's yeah, so, man. so like nice and caring of him to say that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you guys don't do that? No, my family's so small. Oh, shit. Like, we know if <laughs> someone kicks the bucket. Yeah, okay. the mo- if I ever say that to any of my relatives, I would die. <laughs> I, I would die. So yes, yes, <laughs> Let's talk about some solutions. What can people do to combat this awkwardness? Uh, play phone. Play yeah, it's a bad habit, but like that's the only solution I can think of yeah. right now. But well, what if the house doesn't have Wi-Fi? Some of the Apple are going right. They they don't have streamings also don't have you know. Um, like they have zero dial up modem. What also don't have. Then you have to rely on your freaking data, right? Then go yeah because true. you know you don't have enough data. Yeah. True, true. The smoke signal. <laughs> <laughs> so Joseph, huh? if you're stuck in an awkward situation mm. in your relative's house. Mm. Got no Wi-Fi, no fire to make smoke signals. Ah, yo, no fire. <laughs> <laughs> no pigeon to send us. <laughs> How then? I don't know, man. My telco provider only like allows me to use two gig every month worth of data, of course. Okay, mm. well, it's funny that we are mentioning this now because you know we talked about it at the Takeaway Table Podcast, mm. Table Talk, uh, and there's this thing called the DG Phone Freedom Three Six Five. So two gigs, right? Damn lousy, man. Dude, these right? guys are giving up to 200 freaking gigs. What the hell? So your whole oh, wow. Chinese New Year is covered and also after that. Uh, and Raj, I know you have a crap phone. So if you want to upgrade, any of you guys at home want to upgrade as well, uh, the plan allows you to upgrade to the latest smartphone of your choice uh, with zero ringgit upfront payment and zero interest as well. So you know you're saving money, right? Mm. And you know, we're, we're not very rich people. And Chinese New Year, you only get the Ampaos during Chinese New Year. So if you want a phone before, you get it first, yeah. and then you pay with your umpa. Okay, so our next question is from at Darren Arvid. Do I bring my GF to open houses when I've only been dating her for three months? Not okay. sure if we will keep dating as it's still young, so to speak. <laughs> Okay, wait. Before we even get into the question, right? It's, honestly, it's a very mature question. I have to say. But is it mature of you to think about this, Darren? Uh, Raj, what are your thoughts on this one? Uh, three months? Hmm. Is a bit too fast, especially for Asian families. Uh, 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 you only bring uh, your partner uh, when you're somewhat serious. Think of it this way: even if it's not Chinese New Year, right? Think of it as someone's wedding, right? Mm. And then you bring your partner of three months, and then you take a picture together as a family, and then you break up, right? Yeah. That picture will always be in your family. Oh goodness! And then That's when right. you marry someone else, they'll be like, "Hey, who's this person?" Oh, my ex, my wow. best friend. Wow. Think about it, lah, yeah. huh? You know, every festive season, right? we would play a game here. Mm. And I hate the games here, all right, okay? I hate all of you. <laughs> traumatic seeing, flashbacks. Traumatic flashbacks, all right? I went pantsless, all right, during Christmas. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> to be fair, you took it off on your own aircon. The ice I saw all of that, blah, blah, blah. You wanted to. You enjoyed it. Anyway, Don't you know lie. what? We're going to play two games, obviously. Um, player who wins the most Ang Pao gets a huge Ang Pao in the end. Mm. <laughs> Okay, so this game is called I Want a Happy Ending. So basically, we are going to be fed a story and, and you must make up the finish ending. It. Okay. Yeah. I'm very good at this. Story number one. The origin of Chinese New Year. Okay. 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 Once upon a time, there was a monster called Nyan who used to torment villagers every Chinese New Year's Eve. The villagers would hide in the mountains so they wouldn't get eaten by the monster. One day, an old man successfully scared the monster away by... Picking off his back. <laughs> no, no, no. It's okay, so this is a real story, right? This is a real Chinese folklore. Okay. Okay. Do um, uh, you want to start first? Uh, one day, an old man successfully scared the monster away by taking musical instruments and then... Dang, 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 and then he like firecracker, ta 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 ta, and then a monster ran away. One day, an old man successfully scared the monster away by monster. removing his attire, putting on the lion <laughs> dance costume, uh. firecrackers, and they were like, Nian was like, oh, there's another guy up in my business. Uh. I'm out. That's that's how he they scared the monster so away. So he I drives th- the competitor out. Like. Yes. Okay, mine would probably be the same, slightly the same. Mm. Obviously, fireworks, Chinese Year and stuff like that. I think the only way to maintain that Nian doesn't come out to torment these villages is that they spend Chinese New Year. So that's why every year 
we wear red, we give ang pao's anything that shows the color red uh. from there scares the monster away. So they give the ang pao to that's, the monster. I think that's why the red, the color red came off. Five colors like, are red. Like Nian's scared of it, is it? Yeah, Nian's scared. Okay, of it. let's let's find out what the answer is. Okay, so the correct answer is this guy started pasting red <laughs> papers <laughs> on doors like the along like that. <laughs> He started burning bamboo. Oh, sorry, what? Bamboo. Uh, what is that? It's a plant. And the pandas eat bamboo. <laughs> Looks like sugar cane, but it's called bamboo. <laughs> yeah. To make a loud cracking sound, which is a precursor to fireworks. Uh, lighting candles in the houses and wearing red clothes. Oh. Mian never showed up after ah. that, and the villagers carried these practices on every Chinese New Year's Eve. And it's still being practiced until today. So Joseph wins. Joseph got I that win, correct. Man. The whole part correct, dude. Let's move on to the second one. How the rat became the first Chinese zodiac. Mm -hmm. Animals in the kingdom were ordered to compete in a race to determine the order of the Chinese zodiac. To win, the animals had to cross the river. The cat and the rat devised a plan to win the race. They decided to ride the back of an ox to cross the river. How did the rat get first place from that? The cat and the ox stopped to eat bakwa. Then the rat overtake. That's my guess. Okay. Try, you're trying again? Or? No, 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 I'm serious. Is that why, your final why are you answer? taking me seriously? I know Chinese New Year. I don't think the cat is in the zodiac. I think the rat tricked the cat from oh, there. That's hey, why the no, cat no, is wow. not is in the Is the cat in the zodiac, guys? It's, it's not. not uh. It's not. Oh That's my gosh. I don't remember a cat being in the zodiac. No wonder that, that Jackie Chan uh, talisman movie last time, remember? The cartoon got no zodiac of cat. <laughs> okay. I think. I think the rat needed to stall the ox. Okay. So I think he told the cat, yo bro, this is what it is, man. I mean, we've made it yo, this bro. far. Uh, you gotta help a brother out. You need to stall ox. You gotta tell him, bro, we gotta pick a fight now. So like the cats started fighting the ox, they scratch each other. And then the rat was like, while y'all do that, I'm gonna get some backup. But what he did was he just like sneakily got first place. God damn uh, ratatouille, man. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like that. I mean, that's why you call it a rat, right? You don't, you don't snitch in on this, you know? Uh, that's so uh, so that, that's, that's my answer. I think the rat tricked or deceived both the cat and the ox to get the first place. So Joseph, what's your answer? Um, rat tricked the cat, cat got lost or something like that. And then rat won first place, uh, ox won second place. Cat never made it. Cat never made it, oh man. My oh my gosh. God. That's quite tragic the actually. The cat could have died. Do it. Uh, Joseph, why don't you tell us what the final answer is? Okay, so the ox gave them a ride on its back and as it was about to reach the end of the river, the rat pushed the cat away into the river and jumped off the ox and ran to the winning line. Wow. Who won? Guess who won? Uh, this guy right yeah. here, that's <laughs> what? I actually didn't know this story. Well, that's yeah, crazy actually. Yeah. The next and final game we're playing today is... Let me present you a song. <laughs> I'm so sorry, he's the only one who can speak Chinese properly. Uh, so what we're gonna do is similar to Chubby Bunny, we're gonna be uh, putting oranges, Mandarin oranges in our mouth, slice by slice, right? Mm. And each line we're singing, another slice goes in, oh right? God. First person or whoever chokes or isn't able to do their line is out. Okay. Final person wins the round. All put one slice. One, uh? one slice. No juicing, ah. Uh. Right. No juicing, ah. Uh. Okay. Alright, uh, now. Start first. So I sing the first line. Yes. Yes. Hey, okay. oh, very nice. Number Hey, don't what lah, wait. Six one, right? Uh, hey, what's yeah. the thing? Kong si. Oh, Kong si ni ah! Hey, you haven't put seven hey, in yet. Hey, you haven't put seven in yet. You haven't put seven in yet. Say it again. Oh, Kong si ni ah lah. Hey, you hey, put in the first time. Hey, you're juicing lah, wait. Hey, you're juicing lah, wait. Hey, you're juicing lah. He lose today ah, this guy. Hey, come on, let's out. Producer say he's out already. Let's out, Josh. Out already, bro. Come on, man. Okay, how many are we at? Seven ah? Seven is the eight one ah. Okay. Kong si ni. Help me. Hey, what's that? 
Oke, And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. I can't believe we've just done our first Chinese New Year games. Uh, how do we feel about it? Let's just talk about it. Suck it! He obviously knows that he lost. Yeah, man. We're okay. gonna get the prizes in now for the winner. So, Joseph won. Um, obviously, so he's gonna get his gift. His gift Ooh. is a real. Uh, congratulations, Ooh. Joseph! Yeah. Just an umpal, I don't need to scream. I, I think Gustav is right, bro. Yeah. You open it. I got bro. 10 bucks. Bro! Sorry, bro. <laughs> Sorry, bro. <laughs> Sorry, bro. You lost. Oh my goodness! You guys are joking, right? Yeah. No, no. You, don't worry. You get a prize as well. Oh my goodness! Bring, up, money, dude. bring on uh, Raj's prize. Oh, look! Hey, Raj, you get Star Super. Eh? Congrats, bro. Wait, is it Star Super worth a few hundred ringgit or what? Maybe inside. Maybe inside, inside. inside, bro. Before Raj eats the pow, we just want to wish everyone who's watching this a happy Chinese year. Joseph, can you do the uh, Chinese greetings first? Okay. Gong Shi Fa Chai. That's about it. Shin Re Kuai <laughs> it's Sing Nian Kuai. Thank you, Raj. Right. Okay, so I'm supposed to eat this. Yeah, no, but but wait, wait. We need to we need to do our our hand oh, our thing. So from everyone at A Man and the Takeaway Table, we wish you all of you a Kong Si Fa Chai and Happy Chinese New Year. Happy Chinese Year. Happy Chinese Year. Happy Chinese year. Happy Chinese year. Yeah. Um, Raj. They say Kong Si Kong Si ni now. You gotta say a line. What's that? Look? You gotta wish the viewers. It's wait. just your pao, is it? Oh, just your pao. So it's, the, it's a meat pao. Oh! Is it good? Hey, what is it, bro? Is it hot? Oh! Uh, is what's that? happening? Too hot! Bro, if you guys look, right, there is a. Uh, there is a. Oh in, my God. Insertions in each pao. Oh. Hey, what's happening? Oh! <laughs> well, thank God what, I won. What, what sauce do you put inside? Dude. Hot sauce. Like, how hot? This kind. Oh! <laughs> what is theory? <laughs> Kong si Kong si Kong si ni Yang Kong What sauce is that? I don't know, what's wrong with my name? Oh, I'm not touching that Huh? Samyang black the Oh Jesus Oh my gosh, the spicy noodle sauce Times two Raj, can you use this spicy food? It is the next level Wow, that's spicy Dude, it's okay, you don't have to eat it Okay, okay guys 